If you want to turn on parallel calculation at the server level, you're going to need to use the SBase CFG setting Calc Parallel. Calc Parallel controls just how many threads a calculation can launch simultaneously, or theoretically the maximum number of threads it can launch. To turn on parallel calculation at a server, application, or database level, go to your SBase CFG and add a line that says Calc Parallel and then a space and then an application or an application with a database followed by a number. Now if you don't put a database, it'll set that number for all databases in the application. If you don't specify an application, it'll set that number of threads to the entire server. So any database that's calculated, either block storage or aggregate storage, will max out at that number of threads. The default for a block storage database is one, so if you don't put a calc parallel statement in it at all, it's going to use one for block storage, and for aggregate storage, it's going to use a much more impressive two. Assuming you're on a 64-bit server, because you probably can't even find a 32-bit server anymore, the maximum for n is 128, at least as of sbase 11124. It's really important that you use your calc parallel setting. Most computers have far more than one CPU, and in general, unless you're running a lot of simultaneous calcs, you're going to want to take advantage of a lot more of those cores per calculation. So make sure that you increase that N setting from one up to as many as how many CPUs you have on your server. Now the SBase Database Administrator's Guide in TechRef says hold one CPU back so that the operating system can run or the index can update. It's not necessary. However many threads you launch are not going to maximize the CPUs anyway because there are lots of other things that have to happen like disk I.O. So don't feel the need to hold one back for the operating system. Now, if you put a calc parallel setting in the sbase CFG file, it can be overridden by the set calc parallel command in a calc script. So don't think that this setting that you're putting in is going to always take effect. It might very well be overridden. Where you would want to put it in the CFG is if you wanted it to be the standard for either the whole server or an application or a database, knowing full well that an individual calc script can override it. Also, even if you set it to a higher number, there are certain things that can happen with the number of task dims that might very well use or not use your calc parallel. For instance, if you have a lot of really large sparse dimensions at the end of your database that narrow to a single point as they go up through the dimension, if you only have calc task dims set to one, calc parallel might only be able to launch a single thread towards the end because it has to wait while all the top level members aggregate together into the very top of the sparse dimension. So here's a simple example. Notice about five lines down in my sbase CFG file. I really want sample basic to calculate a whole lot more quickly. So I've got calc parallel space sample space basic seven. Now, whenever I run a default calc on sample basic or any calc script that doesn't have a set calc parallel command, it's going to use up to seven simultaneous threads. Now there's a conflict that can occur between the calc parallel and calc task dims settings and the calc cache settings. If you are trying to use the SBase calculator cache, which in some cases can be a good thing, SBase will actually look at your calc parallel and your calc task dims and go, well, I need to modify these to take better advantage of the calc cache. And it's actually going to go ahead and write in the log that it fiddled with your calc task dims because it was trying to use the calculator cache. Now, in general, parallel calculation is much more important than optimizing the calc cache. If you're trying to optimize for calc cache, you're probably putting fairly large sparse dimensions at the end of your outline. If you're optimizing for parallel calculation, you're probably putting what we call non-aggregating sparse dimensions at the end of your outline, things like scenario or version. Just be aware, if you try and optimize for both of them, you're going to mess everything up. So pick, do you want to optimize for parallel calc, meaning setting calc parallel and calc task dims and not using the calc cache, or are you going to try and get the best possible calc cache you can get, which means you're probably messing with your parallel calculation. Oh.